You are welcome to Flip TV News. My name is Victor Ajayi. First, the airlines. EFCC arranged for for forgery and impersonation. Now the news in full. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has arranged four suspects for forgery and impersonation of the agency. The EFCC disclosed this in a statement on X.com on Friday. The statement partly read: EFCC has arranged Solomon Joanna, Shidrak Naftali, Hassan Mohammed, and Abdullah Abubakar before Justice Ahmed Issa for impersonating the EFCC by forcing its document to defraud unsuspecting Nigerians. They were arraigned on nine count charges of forgery, aiding to commit a crime and impersonation by the Gombe Zona Directorate of the EFCC. One of the charges reportedly is that you, Solomon Yohanna, Shadrach, Naftali, Hassan, Mohammed, Abdullah, Abubakar, sometimes between 2023 and 2024 in Yola, Adamawa State, Within the jurisdiction of this honorable court, did forge the signature of the Commission, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, on the following documents. Letter of Authority on EFCC Letter 8, dated 5th of August 2024. Investigation Approval Letter, dated 1st of April 2024, on EFCC Letter. Letter of Team Approval, dated 6th December 2023, on EFCC Letter Head. Letter of Team Approval, dated 29th April. 2024 on EFCC letterhead bearing the name of the first defendant on each document with intent to support the claim that the first defendant is a staff of Economic and Financial Crimes Commission sent to Gujuk local government to audit and supervise all the projects of the local governments awarded by the federal, state and local government which you knew to be false and thereby committed an offense of forgery contrary to section 349 and punishing one that section 351 of the Penal Code Law of Adamawa State 2018. One of the suspects, Yana, was said to have pleaded guilty to the charge and was remanded at Yola Correctional Center, Adamawa State. The statement added, upon arraignment on October 15, 2024, the first defendant, Solomon Joanna, pleaded guilty to the crimes while others pleaded not guilty. In view of the first defendant's plea of guilt, prosecution counsel. Sad H. Ad. Sad. Saidi prayed the court to allow him to bring up witnesses to review the facts of the case. However, counsel of the defendant, C. Karamuel, told the court he wasn't ready to take any witnesses. Justice Issa also granted bail to the second, third, and fourth defendants in the sum of $5 million each, with one shorty, and adjourned the case to November 15, 2024, for trial and review of facts. Justice Issa. Having had both prosecution and defense counsels granted each of the defendants, second, third, and fourth defendants bid in the sum of five million naira with one shorty and like some almost be resident in Yola and a family man. The shorties shall deposit the identity cards and sign bill bonds. The judge thereafter demanded Yuana at Yola Correctional Center at Amawa State and adjourned the matter to November 15, 2024 for both trial and review. Of fact, the statement concluded. That we hold on a news update. Join us for more stories and on our channels. Flip TV, Flip TV Plus. My name is Victor Ajayi.